casually friendzoning Harry fucking Styles. If you thought that haircut that you had when you were like 10 years old was embarrassing, this is worse. If you thought your mom dropping in in the middle of class bringing you your lunch with a teddy shaped sandwich was embarrassing, this is worse. If you thought you farting in front of your crush before he wanted to kiss you was embarrassing, this is worse. <laughs> Hey mom and random people on the internet watching this right now, it's Cece and I used to be a directioner if you didn't already know and I also am an author. Basically today I'm gonna do something that I'll probably regret in the future. I'm gonna go through my One Direction fan fiction that I wrote when I was like, I'd say like 13, maybe 14 years old and it's about to get real cringy. No one ever got to read this apart from myself because it's that cringy and now I'm here sharing it publicly on the internet. <laughs> so you know I'm just gonna read the first few chapters probably. If you enjoy it let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments down below if you want me to continue this little series. Um... The things you do for YouTube, you know? <laughs> anyway, there's nothing much to say to defend myself, so we probably should just get into it. I'm really excited. Not really. I'm scared. And there we go. 1D story. The story doesn't even have a title. <laughs> and I just like put some cute ass pictures and put the names under there in case anyone didn't know who was who in One Direction. I heard there are actually people that still don't know. Wow, they're sane. That is kind of awkward. Actually, before I start reading, can you guess down below who was like my favorite out of the five? And also, can you guess, wow, that booty? Shake that ass with me. Shake that ass with me. No, but can you like guess who I fell in love with in the story, who I ended up with? Like, you don't know what's about to go down. There's cheating, there's forbidden kisses, there's vacations, there is secrets, there is all the tea spilled, there's a wedding. You are in for a treat right now because this is like a bestseller story, obviously. <laughs> anyway, let's see. First chapter. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Basically, I gave all the chapters like little titles and they were lyrics from like love songs, I guess. So this one has the title and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So fucking creative. Let's start reading. I'm already embarrassed, but let's go. I was on holidays with my family and we walked across a big place when I suddenly saw Harry Styles from One Direction. Oh my gosh, Aha! so convenient. Obviously that always happens when I'm on holiday, you know? So I walked over to the curly one and said hello <laughs> to the curly one, oh gosh. He was very nice and we had a great laugh together talking a bit with the title as well. When we said goodbye, he asked me if I didn't want to take a photo as a memory. I told him that my biggest wish is to know them better because I think they're nice guys and not only celebrities. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but like, oh my gosh, all the cliches, you know. He smiled and answered, that's the cutest thing a fan has ever said to me. <laughs> all right then, probably says exactly that sentence to whoever he's meeting and whatever they are telling him. <laughs> a few weeks later, the boys gave a fan hour near my hometown. <laughs> yeah, sure, I live like in the middle of nowhere. Probably they will come to fucking Germany in the middle of nowhere and give like a fan hour, whatever that is. My best friends weren't at home, so I went there alone to meet them. When I went to their desk to get an autograph, Harry smiled and said, Said. Can't believe we meet again. The girl I met on holidays. Cool to see you again. <laughs> what the fuck is that voice? He really reminded me. He laughed. That must be destiny. Really, I like you. We should keep in touch. Yeah, sure we should. All right then. He signed my card and wrote his phone number on it. I couldn't believe that was true. Also like my English skills back then, like this is horrible. We said goodbye and the next day I called him and he was very nice. <laughs> he acted like we would be old friends. I also gave him my Twitter account and he followed me. <laughs> like you don't understand, that was like the goal back then. If you got a follow from one of One Direction, like you were the star on Twitter. From that day we chatted often and we also Skyped sometimes. Yeah, just like as you do. <laughs> we got really good friends and always had a great love together. We could talk about everything and it was like we would know each other for years. <laughs> so we also had nicknames for each other. So fucking random. Harry called me his falling star and he was my scary Harry because he liked to scare me every time. Then I also like put a picture of Harry Styles. Man, he was cute back then, wasn't he? Oh, and then we're also like on to the next chapter. I guess we're gonna read another one because obviously we didn't have enough cringe like buddies already like out of it. Like you don't care, do you? So the next 
next chapter is called Stay With Me and I Can Make You Glad You Came. Wow, straight in. After they made a new music video, they all got some free time for visit friends and family. Harry asked me to visit his home with him and the others for a few days. <laughs> sure he did, obviously. Gonna meet the boys, you know. This is the part where it gets like really exciting and even more cringy than before. <laughs> of course I couldn't say no. A few weeks later, I sat on the plane to London and at the airport a taxi was waiting to bring me to Harry's and Louis' flat. I was very excited to meet Harry after so long and it was the first time meeting as real friends. <laughs> when I arrived, Harry opened opened the door and gave me a huge hug. Oh my gosh, they must feel nice. <laughs> he laughed. So cool you're here, my little falling star. <laughs> oh my gosh, it sounded like real creepy. <laughs> we talked a lot and when Louis arrived in the evening, we all watched some videos. <laughs> Louis and me got friends fast. He was as funny as me and we told us a lot of jokes. Obviously, I'm as funny as Louis Tomlinson, like don't you watch my content, girl? We also pranked each other and fast was clear that we could talk about anything because it always was funny. <laughs> the next morning, a taxi took us to the airport again. At our gate, we waited for the others. When they arrived, Harry introduced me to them and we shook heads. Oh my gosh, there we go, the introductions, right? Say it was like, hey Sam, what's happening? <laughs> so fucking cringe. And gave me a short hug. Liam just smiled and said, hi, I'm Liam, but I think you already know. Oh my gosh, my accent is also like so fucking bad. Sorry guys. I'm sure one day I'm gonna be friends with One Direction and they're gonna be back together as a band. And we are gonna recreate the fan fiction and they are gonna read their own parts and it's gonna be a much better version of what I'm doing right now because obviously this is gonna happen. Niall smiled shy and said, Hello, nice to meet you, in his funny Irish accent. That I can do. <laughs> and with sparkles in his amazing blue eyes. <laughs> Obviously at this point you probably guessed that Niall was my favorite. <laughs> we all got into their chat. I sat next to Harry, a verse from Niall, who put his headphones on and started to listen to music. Harry smiled. I'm still wondering how anyone can listen to that music. It's horrible. Niall answered, no, it's very cool. <laughs> They started a discussion, so I took Niall's headphones, which laid on the table. The music was fantastic! A mix of hip-hop and rock. I started loving my head. There's actually sun outside right now, so the lighting is changing and I'm not here for it. Please go back to Nana! Niall's eyes sparkled in a magic way. He said something, so I took away the headphones and asked, What? He smiled and repeated, You like it? I answered, yeah, that's really cool! Harry shook his head and went to the others. Niall and me, we talked a lot about music. We came along very good from the first moment. I liked him very much and I kinda thought about that he was feeling the same way. Cause he nearly was staring at me and every time our eyes met, he blushed. <laughs> Hashtag goals! And also obviously I had to put some pictures there. Cute AF! Look at them back then! Woo! Oh my gosh, the lighting is annoying the fuck out of me! Let's go for another chapter then, should we? It is called if I could be anywhere, I'd be there with you. When we arrived at the airport, a taxi waited for us and took us to Harry's home. We got off at a little house with a nice garden in front of. Harry's mom opened the door and gave them all a huge hug. She really was nice. Sadly, she had to work the time we were there. Obviously, let's kick the mom out of the script, shall we? When she saw me, she said, Hey, you must be Sam. Oh, obviously, I had another name. It probably was like Samantha, so it's Sam for short. Wow. Nice to meet you. Harry told a lot about you. You are one of his best friends, even he doesn't know you well. <laughs> sure I am. Mom! Harry interrupted her while getting red. I just smiled. Yes, it's right. We don't know you well, but I hope that'll be different after our holidays, Liam said. He was very nice. Okay, but can we just talk about the fact that I described every single person in this whole story as just like nice? Because that's probably the only nice word how to describe a person that I knew in English at that time. <laughs> after we rode the bikes around the wood and the fields, Harry's mom cooked for us and I ate a lot. Harry meant not only the music, you and Niall also have the same appetite. <laughs> Truth thesis. We all laughed. Niall got a little red when he looked at me with sparkles in his eyes again and said, girls with such an appetite are very likable. <laughs> I blushed and fast looked back at my plate. Saint said, Guys, I remember that last time someone had to sleep with Harry because there weren't enough beds. How are we gonna deal? Harry answered, the room of my sister is free now. Someone can take it. Three can sleep in our guest room and one has to share the bed with me. The boys didn't want to do that, so I had to, but that wasn't a problem. The others looked a little worried. I knew what they thought, so I said, Guys, we're just friends. Oh my gosh, look at me just casually friend zoning Harry fucking styles. Harry said, correction, we're best friends. Louis was like, Harry, what about me? Liam asked, you're short 
that there won't happen anything? I smiled. Don't worry, even that's so sweet of you. I mean, look at that guy, there won't happen anything. <laughs> that's Loki like so rude, like Harry Styles, if you want there to happen anything, um, here, contact me, social medias are down below. <laughs> Harry nodded, then he understood and got a little angry, of course in a funny way. <laughs> we laughed, we all went to bed very late and Harry and I talked a lot about the craziest things till he fell asleep. I smiled at him and thought how lucky I was to have a friend like him. Then I obviously had to put some pictures like, oh my gosh, how cute, Harry Styles asleep. Actually, y'all probably all fell asleep as well by now because this is boring AF, so I'm gonna end it at this point. But if you guys like want me to continue this little story reading slash reacting kind of thing as a little like series, you know? I wouldn't love to do so because it's cringy AF, but I will do it for the tube, you know? So let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. Please be nice, please don't be rude, like this is horrible writing, I know. But there's actually a lot going down in this story. Like personally, I actually think apart from like obviously being very like cringy fan fiction kind of style, it actually is kind of a good story. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video at this point. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below who was your favorite favorite out of One Direction and if you were like a super fan or whatever. If you don't want to miss the next one and also all the other content that's coming at the moment, please subscribe down below, click the bell, you know what to do. And if you want to follow my cringy ass on all the other social medias, please feel free to do so. They are kind of still fan accounts, like let's be real, I'm such a fan girl. Anyway, I'm gonna go and cry myself to sleep in embarrassment, so thank you for wasting your time with me today. Okay, bye! what you should have in your bag if you want to be a successful YouTuber in 2019. It's this beautiful, very expensive backpack from Gucci, obviously. First thing you want to have in your bag, it's keys, especially the key to your subscriber's heart. Oh, obviously you always want to bring some tea, just in case you ever want to spill it, you know? <laughs>